Hi, this video is on object-oriented programming. This is video two on a series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a header file. Microsoft Visual C++ 2010. Okay, so here we're going to create a new project. Press New Project. Okay, so pick whichever uh, drive you want to save to. I'm picking the E drive. You can pick whatever you want. I My file is going to be called uh, creating a header because that's what we're going to be doing. Creating a header file. Let's click Finish. Let's delete this. Uh, let's make this look like your book. So let's get rid of this. That's the only reason I'm getting rid of this. It's just so it looks like your textbook. Now let's see. Since so we're going to be creating a header file, we're going to do, uh, let's see. Well, in the previous video, I told you what pound and clue stdafx.h stands for. I think I also told you what pound include uh, less than. We got IO stream and this is a library for in whoops input and output commands. Now we're gonna also add this. It's called using namespace std this is to make your life easier it puts std dot dot in front of your commands that come from the libraries so using this uh, using namespace std using namespace std and uh basically it is a li library of all common slash standard standard cut that uh commands uh what does that mean basically in a nutshell what you really need to know is that it prefixes uh, prefixes uh, everything with std dot dot. What does that mean? Uh, let me show you a couple examples real quick. So uh, one, you notice up here we put IO stream, right? IO stream is just for input output commands. Now we're going to use an output command right now. It's called cout, and I explained this one before. Now, right now, I could use it by just saying cout less than less than double quote saying this is how you print out to the screen. Double quotes and semicolon. And now I can run this program right now, and I will. So we're gonna run this program. First, we compile F7. Uh, after you compile, you're gonna press uh, Control F5. So okay, so now let's run this. Control, holding down Control. Now I'm gonna press F5. F5, and this is what you're gonna see. There you go. This is how you print out to the screen. Press any key. Uh, of course, normally to make this look not so sloppy, we would add another C out and, and just do backslash in backslash. And backslash in, backslash in. And that makes it a lot neater. So we'll run this one more time. Control F5, run real quick. And there you go. So the backslash N just moves the press any key to continue down a couple spaces. So now that, now we put in using namespace STD, but you don't really see how beautiful this is because I just wrote CO in this, right? So I'm going to take out using namespace std and watch what happens. So if we do this and you try to use this, all of a sudden you see this underscore and it's going to tell you it's undefined because it doesn't have, it has no idea what you what to do with it. You'd have to do std dot dot.
and then oh look now it works okay so that's so but the unfortunate thing about this is every time you you uh you want to use the cout command you have to put sc dot dot in front of it otherwise not gonna work and for this one to make it work well here i'll let me show you if i try to compile this it's going to tell you tell me that i have an error because of this one See, the, there were build errors. Would you like to continue to run the last successful build? Nope. This has failed. Syntax error. And it's all because of this. Uh, and because this cout doesn't have std dot dot. It just means standard library. So another way to kind of fix this is by doing, we could say, using std dot dot cout. Now, if I did that, then you use using, so you only need to declare the std uh, colon colon one. And then you just use cout after that, like it is here. But that's because I declared it with this, well, with using. Because I'm telling C++, I'm using this in front of that. So basically, I'm just saying, put the prefix in front of cout from now on, so I don't have to do it anymore. And you notice this one doesn't have this right here. In fact, I can get rid of this. And it works just fine. But then I would have to do, use this, I'd have to use this code right here for every single uh, command that I wanted to use. And that can be really annoying or really troublesome. So instead of putting this down for just a single command, we put using namespace. That's just so you're telling C++, you know what? I'm using all your common standard commands. So std dot dot or um, colon colon in front of all my commands. So you don't have to do it anymore. So right now that you'll get that, that don't need it, get rid of the backslash. All right, and now, there we go. So now the point of this was to make, so the point of this was to make a header file, right? So why don't we go in and start making a header file? Uh, so in order to create a header file, you're gonna come over here it's going to say header files and I'm going to right click on header files and I'm going to go to add then I'm going to go to new item and here we're going to select header file and then we're just going to put in a name for this header file so we're going to call it um, let's call it C, C square well, actually no C heading and we're going to click add now we're inside of our header file in here you're going to declare this as a class I'm going to say class and it's going to turn blue okay so here we're going to declare the class class and this is going to be c heading now the reason i'm using c heading here is because that's the name of our header c heading okay and then we're going to do the open twisty closing twisty and this is very important this will not work if you do not put semicolon right there if you don't put a semicolon right here it will not work and you're going to be like what's going on i'm going to so remember put a semicolon there uh, next now we're gonna declare this public now again we're gonna do this again we're gonna say C oops C heading open parentheses closing parentheses open twisty closing twisty this this is your default constructor next we're going to make a mm, let's make a full constructor so this is gonna be C oops C heading. Okay, so that's the full constructor. Next, uh, we're gonna create something to clear your screen. We're gonna say void, um, clear the screen. Open parentheses, close parentheses, enter, open twisty, closing twisty. Then we're gonna use a system, system file. We're gonna say system, open parentheses. We're gonna say double quote CLS. And this clears the screen, just so you know. The reason you're seeing this here is because if you come over here, you look here, and you don't see our header file. So in order to use this header file in here, you have to include it. So we're going to say pound include double quotes visual C++. It's, it'll come up with this screen right here giving you your, your header files or files that you could add to it. So, I mean, I could just click on this one or just press tab and it'll pop it right up there for me. And then just close it up. And there, now if we come over here, you notice that it's no longer underlined. So now it's declared inside of our program. So now we're gonna make the, the welcome sign. So we're gonna say void welcome message. Open parentheses, close parentheses, open twisty, closing twisty. And the reason 
I set it as a void is because it's not going to, uh, it's not going to return a value. It's just going to print something out. So let's say, let's see, let's indent this so it looks nice and neat. We're going to say, add some comments here so you know what this is. This clears the, oh, let's make a command to pause the screen. So let's do void pause the screen. Open parentheses, closing parentheses, uh, open twisty, closing twisty. Uh, again, system, pause, oops. Okay, that's the command to, this right here is the command to pause the screen. I'll show you in a second what it does. So, pause the screen. This one here clears your screen. And this one pauses the screen. So. Here we're gonna make the welcome message. Um, so we're just gonna make it really quick and say uh, less than less than. Let's do backslash n, backslash n, backslash t. Actually, well, yeah, you should know what that means. If you watched the previous video, it tells you what it tells you what backslash n and backslash t means. So now we're gonna write welcome to object oriented programming oh, there we go we're so happy now this is one way to print out you just put it like C out and then you close it but if you let's say you wanted to write several things so let me show you the that's one way you could write this is one way you could write it another way you could write it is like this so you do C out uh, less than less than uh, double quotes and now let's do backslash n backslash n backslash t and we're going to say this may be your first program uh, then go down to the next line backslash n uh, backslash actually I'm not going to do that now I'm just going to leave it like this or Maybe it is not. And now I use the semicolon to close it out. As you notice, I only use one C out here and one semicolon. That's how you just keep, if you just want to keep writing more and more things. I mean, I could have just added it over here like this. I could just be like backslash n. You can keep adding lines like this. Okay, so this, this is your welcome. This is the welcome message. So, all right, let's go back to over here. We've got our header file right there. And you notice here we have some text inside, uh, inside the program already. So if I was to run it like this, let me compile it real quick. Okay, so now it's gone through. Let's run this code, control F5. And you notice it says this, this is how you print out to the screen. Uh, press any key to continue. That is this code right here. Now, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're actually going to use our uh, our header file. So how do you use your header file? Well, first thing we need to declare it. So we're going to say, oops. So we're going to say C heading, and then you're going to write uh, C me. This oops. This is declaring see me as a class type C heading. So now, what does that mean? All that means is that you're saying uh, whenever I put see me, I'm actually calling, I'm gonna create something that has, that is like C heading pretty much. You'll see what I mean. So now let's go down here. We're gonna type in C me then period and then all of a sudden whoa look at all these cool things so we're going to first thing I want to do is cl let's clear the screen so let's uh, open print close print close it up next thing is we want to pause well okay let's just do this and then we'll see what it does so let's press control F5 huh, and it clears out the screen and you see nothing there okay so now we're going to pause the screen so now let's call our header file. 
see me then we're going to go down to pause the screen open parentheses closing parentheses semicolon now we're going to run the program actually let's put that in twice e me then we're going to pause the screen okay now let's run this code and see what we get okay so you notice the very first thing we get in here is uh, is right here this it says this is how you print out to the screen and that's this first one right here that's getting printed out uh, and then after that you notice it's just paused unfortunately I didn't put a backslash n right here to move this down a couple but oh well anyhow I now I'm gonna press any button and you're gonna see what happens it cleared the screen out uh, and everything's gone except for the press any key to continue that's because first thing it did is this code right here then it went to the second one which is pause the screen it paused the screen now well after you hit uh, hit the any key it went to the next command which was clear the screen and it cleared the screen and it paused the it paused the the code again so now if I hit pause uh, if I hit any key it'll continue and it'll go down to press any key to continue again because it went from uh, from clear the screen it paused right here I pressed the the any key uh, then it went down to this code which is just back it just tells it to move the cursor down four spaces so I came down here and that was the end of the code so after this part it just automatically pauses and it just says press any key to continue and that is how you create a heading file so let's see do we want anything else with this well yes we do because look we forgot we we've already cleared the screen we've already paused the screen but now we want to display our welcome message so let's come back over here let's come right here now let's press let's call it we're going to uh, press see me period welcome message open parentheses closing parentheses semicolon and now let's run this program one last time and see what our welcome messages look okay here we go so here the first uh, the first line to be or the first code to be written is this the it's this one right here the C out which says this is how you print out to the screen it's that one right there then it continues on it goes down to pause screen so it's pause right now I press any key and it's gonna clear the screen and then it's gonna move to the next code which says pause the screen then it's just gonna be it's just gonna pause it and the screen gets cleared and it's paused press any key to continue so I'm gonna press the key and it's going to display the welcome message. And there's the welcome message. Eh, a bit ugly, I think. It's, you can tell this is indented, and these two are not. So why don't we fix that to make it look just a little bit prettier. So what actually ended up happening is that we, we said backslash n, backslash n, which moves it two lines down from the top, and backslash t moves it, indents it eight spaces. And that's why this is indented. And that's why the second one is indented, too. Where it, in, it moves it down one space, two spaces, and then it indents it eight spaces in. So now I'm going to indent this one the same thing. We'll say backslash t here, and then backslash t there. And now they'll all be properly indented. So let's go back and let's run this code. All right, the code ran now. So let's check it out. As you notice, it says again, it says this is how you print out to the screen. Very first command. Then we pause the screen, it's paused. So now we're going to press any key to go down to the clear screen and it's gonna clear it out. After it clears it, it's gonna pause the screen again. And that's what's happened. Now I'm gonna press any key again to unpause it and it's gonna go welcome. It's gonna to go to the welcome message. And here it is and it's indented. Okay, so it says, welcome to object-oriented programming. This may be your first program or it may be it's not. You can keep adding lines like this. and. And that's what we have written right here. So, uh, anyhow, so that's how you create a header file. Let me just go back and review it for you real quick. You right-click on heading. Oops. You right-click on header files. You highlight the add, and then you click new item. And it's going to bring up this. You select header file. You type in the, whatever name you want in here, and you just click add. So let's, I could press 
dee 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 and then just click add and, and that's that. So anyhow, I really hope this video helped you out. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to... I think I want to show you guys a little bit about uh, IO Manip. Mm, yeah. So we'll play a little bit with IO Manip, and then after that, we'll see about making some... Uh, making... Uh, let's see. So first, I think we showed you how to make... Uh, yeah, so we made the default constructor, and then after that, we're actually going to make a partial constructor, a facilitator, a mutator and an well actually yeah, a mutator and an accessor so in the next video we'll, we'll go over a few other things so yeah so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video hope it helped you out uh, in the next video we're going to go over what it, what's a mutator an accessor and facilitators so uh, thank you for watching and good luck in your classes